Hello guys, today I want to present to you a new course that I've released on Laravel Daily.com and this is an interesting course from two angles. And by the way, at the end of this video, I will remind you of ongoing promotion where you can get the membership with 40% discount. So anyway, this course, first thing about it is that it has been finished for weeks now, almost a month, but in the month of August, it was all about filament and live wire. So this course was kind of waiting for release. And also there are two more courses waiting in line in September, but I will talk about them later. But in this case, the course is grouped by examples in Laravel. Because for so many years on forums, on Laracast, Stack Overflow and elsewhere, I've seen dozens and hundreds of questions like, how do I group data in my individual situation? What is the syntax of Eloquent, Raw Queries or Laravel? Or I'm trying to group data in this and that way and the table doesn't show the data exactly as I want or duplicates the line or doesn't show some line or orders in the wrong way or throws an error like in this case on the screenshot that you can see. So dozens of questions about group by, but basically they come down to the fundamental knowledge about how group by works on the database level, then Laravel and then Eloquent. So in this course, I teamed up with my colleague Modestas and we came up with a dozen of examples. First set of examples with like official syntax, group by, by what and how and order by and multiple tables and multiple columns and stuff like that. And then four really practical real life examples. So in this video, as I always do on YouTube, I will release something for free. So let's read the first three lessons about fundamentals of group by. And I will link the full course in the description below. And if you have more questions about grouping data, you can ask them in the comments below and I may shoot more videos or add more lessons to the same course. So first thing, setup of our database for all the examples that will come. So we have users, we have orders, and there's many to many between orders and products. So order with many products, nothing really fancy. And this is the screenshot of the data. And the first thing, the first example, usually group by is done with sum or average or count or other aggregated functions. But did you know you can use group by instead of distinct? So if you just want different unique values of the same field, you can use group by like this. You query the orders, group by user ID. This will execute this query and another query for eager loading. And then those order user names would be unique, even if we have multiple orders by the same user. So in this case, group by works kind of the same way as distinct in MySQL. The next example, and this is where I come to the classical usage of group by with aggregation of sum, average, min, max, or count. So this is an example of all of those features. And in the course, there is a repository that implements all of them in one page. So this is that all in one example, pretty straightforward with maybe optimizable, but you see the point you select the user ID and then have raw query of whatever aggregated function you want sum, average, min, max, or count, the syntax is the same. And then you group by user ID and you get the data in Blade. And these are SQL queries under the hood. And this is, by the way, the goal of the course was to show you the eloquent syntax or query builder syntax or a query syntax. And then under the hood, what are the SQL queries? Because without that fundamental understanding, this is where people get confused on Laracast forum or elsewhere. They're trying to use eloquent without understanding what are the SQL queries under the hood. So yeah, this is the example. And then in the view you do for each and show the value from, let me get back from this field. And the last practical example from that course that will be free on YouTube number three is group by with extra calculations. So what if you want to show something like this, the table of name of the product, for example, and then more calculations in multiple columns. Here is the controller and we don't use eloquent. We use query builder in this case, query builder of product, joining that order product many to many table. And then we add select, which is a sub query. So we have total quantity in this case, and this is the SQL query underneath. So select from products, join, and this is the value that we're having for every product and group by product ID. And in the view, we can show the calculation of one value, another value or their difference. 
So again, pretty small example, but we gathered a full course of such small examples. And again, I will link that in the description below. Now, I promised the discount currently for three days from yesterday. I have a so-called back to school promotion. So there's a 40% off membership, yearly membership for the first year or lifetime membership, 40% off with the coupon code SCHOOL23. This video is published on Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday is the last day of that campaign. If you're watching later, then sorry, you've missed that campaign. Maybe there will be others in the future. But this September of 2023, I wanted to emphasize that we all get back to school. I also get back to shooting more content and more deep content on this YouTube channel. And see you guys in those other videos.